Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here, and this is the video where I turn into a stalker once again, and we are at Rio, and I'm driving the Dodge Viper in S-Class, as we head into turn 1, We've got an Audi ahead of us, a couple of guys behind, not too close though, uh, luckily, as we head into, oh no, that guy's going to head into me, more like, and he drifts wide, don't know why he couldn't just break it a little bit earlier, but he will hopefully learn his lesson, probably won't though, as we come through in third. Now, this is the point where we develop the Stalker Challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, I try to follow a guy as long as possible and then overtake him right at the end, just for maximum trolling level, pretty much. And there's quite a lot of people who didn't like my previous one. Well, okay, fair enough. Well, the thing about YouTube is you don't have to watch it if you don't like it. And that applies to this one, too. Um, so, yeah, by all means, switch off right now. Or click away if you don't like this video or you are easily offended. But coming through the tunnel, we are obviously right behind this guy. Just trying to gauge his speed. He's actually a very quick driver. And it's not going to be a very easy one. Just keeping up with him is hard enough on its own. And into the 90 degree left. A very slow turn. Lose my wing there. But on the exit, you can see here just about have the speed edge on him. But then it looks like he's got decent handling and brakes as he goes through there. Actually more than a match for the Viper. So I'm going to have to have a look at that car and possibly get a tune for it after the race. He goes into the wall there, a bit of a mistake as we go through the first turn there. Or uh, through the final turn, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at that car. Uh, possibly get a tune for one because it seems to be very good actually. Uh, not many cars are a good match for the Viper in S-Class. So anything that can keep up is obviously a very good car. He's obviously a good driver as well. I made a bit of a mistake there. Go to that kerb a little bit too soon. That's throwing me wide. But then later on in the race, this is lap 3 now. I did lose him for about a lap or two by a couple of seconds. But I did manage to reel him back in once again. Getting a bit of a sideways action there in the air. As we go over the jump at the top of the hill. And then into the tunnel. Right on him once again. Now, this is going to be the place where the move is going to be done most likely into the 90 degree left which has a good braking zone so we can get a tester for the next lap here and he's on the brakes actually quite late just about too late as he goes into the wall there on the exit but that is boding well for the next lap where we will go for our pass and actually it's actually been quite hard to overtake. There's been a couple of opportunities where I have had to back off the throttle. Where I perhaps could have gone for a move. But not as many as my previous challenge where I had them pretty much every corner. There was always an opportunity in the previous video. This one, this guy is actually really quite quick. So it's actually quite hard. Obviously could have gone through there. Hitting the brakes to make sure I don't. So that is an opportunity missed. But that is not the idea of the video. We are trying to wait for the last lap last corner or so i'm not going to save it for the very last corner here because that long left hander not really a good overtaking opportunity i'm going to go for the last you know decent overtaking opportunity which is into that 90 degree left at the bottom of the hill and then through this one i do like this corner and most people take that corner way too slow you can really extend that quite a lot on the exit have to be very brave on entry turn in early get to that apex and then rely on the grip of the car on the exit and then into the tunnel corner uh, here actually both of us getting decent exits while well, he gets a bit of contact with the wall I'm looking around the outside not going to go for it there but then the anticipation is building as we come out of the tunnel this is where we are going to strike and complete our stalker challenge at long last we are going to pop no oh clearly i've fucked it up again now, yes, by all means, in the comments down below, please, um, please just have a go at me. Just do it. Just um, say all your insults, all your, all your, you know, all your criticisms. Let them all out because I've, I've let you down. That that was quite shocking. I just ballsed up pretty much. I, I fucked up there. Yeah, just messed it up. Although his got his car was very good on the brakes. I'll give him that. So, to cheer you up, I guess, I hope, we're going to read some bonus clips. And the first one is Bernie's Alps. Now, this track usually 
or always brings out some carnage as well. Well, any any track does. It's Forza. Any track brings out carnage. Let's face it. Into the first turn, a couple of guys right out wide there. Have we got contact? Yes, we have. There we go. That's our first end of contact. A couple of guys off to the left. Ferrari F50 doing a nice angled drift there. And then through the S's. Viper almost going into the back of that Ferrari. Ferrari breaks all of a sudden. Have to go just about around him. And then this um, this guy's just in the SUV. Just going to turn across last second there. And then just turn across again as I try to pass him on the other side. I lose my wing. The guy comes through on my left hand side. I'm just afraid to pass this guy. Because I know he's just going to try and ram me off. On the exit here of this turn. I do manage to get past him. But it's just annoying when people do that. But no worries. We are through past him. So we move to the next race. Around Catalonia short circuit. This corner here. God. This is one of the worst corners for Carnage. And I've just driven straight off. But then just to rub it in. Being collected on my way. And then losing tons of positions there. As we rejoin the circuit. In 18th out of 24. 24 players in this lobby. Maximum possibility of carnage with that many people on the exit here getting the run on the Mercedes CLK then up the hill is the right hander here as we go around the outside a guy just back there just kind of just um, his controller just went off completely and he's gone and I threw past these two guys and the, the Lamborghini here Kuntash is going to look up the inside I'm going to try and give him a bit of space but he wants a bit more he's going to go through no worries there really and then this guy's on my inside and give, uh, give him space on the inside there. He's going to nudge me wide. The CLK just comes out of nowhere. Hits us both off. Lamborghini's off as well. He's going to do a nice rejoin here and smash into that guy. And only harm himself there. The Subaru drives wide. And I'm going to go through past him. And I have to say quickly here. Um, the sad news about Louis Salem. Who uh, died in the Moto2 practice at this circuit a couple of days ago. Very sad news. Um, but it does highlight the risk in motorsport, all sorts of motorsport, especially MotoGP, I guess. Um, mo two wheels often more dangerous than four. So that's very sad news that another has been taken from us. But back to this race, a bit more carnage up ahead. Luckily, no one dies in the game when the people start smashing into each other. But if they were to do this in real life, they would perhaps realise that ramming each other off is not the way to go. And on the last lap, this guy is just going to get clattered by a back marker in the Ford GT. Poor guy. I did slow down as so I wanted to let him back past. But then another guy came through. And then I would have lost another position to him. So I didn't really bother in the end. But that is going to bring this video to a close. Now, perhaps in the third video. Third time lucky, I hope, for the Stalker Challenge. I will perhaps bring you one where I actually managed to do it. And not fail once again. So yeah, by all means, comment down below your thoughts on how bad I was on that final turn did I bottle it or was I just being a bit more careful than I should have been but that is the end thank you very much for watching as always hope to see you next time goodbye